Hello and all. welcome back to 101 Sports. I'm sitting here with our NFL experts, Megan Podgorski and Bobby Hunter. And guys, there was an interesting week that happened with Tom Brady. He saw a bit of criticism after having a bad week uh, for the first couple weeks, and now he had a good week this Sunday. Bobby, diagnose Tom Brady for me. Is he back to his normal self? Yeah, Brady's fine. Um, the Patriots' problems start with their offensive line, their play calling, and Bill Belichick as a GM over the last couple of years. Um, their offensive line coach, uh, Dante Scarnecchia, got, uh, he retired this past year, so they've been mixing and matching with uh, different rookies. It's been horrible. Brady doesn't have time to throw. He's a pocket passer. He needs weapons. He's fine. He's not the problem in New England. I would have to agree with that. I mean, looking at um, the upcoming week, it's going to be difficult for the uh, Patriots. I mean, they're playing the Bills at home with a uh, pretty impressive defensive line. I mean, Mario Williams and the rest of the defense is pretty strong. So we'll see if it really is the team around him and not just Brady that was the problem in the beginning of the season. I think for Brady, a lot has to do with him being a pocket passer. You nailed it. Mm -hmm. And when he's uncomfortable, we see that he usually doesn't play his best. Sticking with the AFC East, let's talk about the New York Jets. Faced a tough start to the season. And is Geno Smith the problem here, or is it Rex Ryan? What is the problem with this organization? I think it's, I think it's Rex here because, you I mean, you have Vic and you have Geno, and they're both just bad. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but, I mean, I would... I would normally say Gino, but this week I'd bench him because, I mean, he missed his offensive meeting because he said his phone, I mean, he said he was still on West uh, Coast time. I mean, your phone's automatically changed to East Coast time. I mean, traveling, people know that. There's no reason for you to be late. I'd bench him just because of that. Put Vic in. See what he does this week. I agree. I think there's too many problems in uh, New York right now. Gino's playing like trash. He's not, he's not even a proven quarterback. I'm not giving Gino any chance here. I'm not giving him a chance. He, Mark Sanchez, when, it was, when he was there, they are like, all right, at least he would, went to uh, two AFC Championship games. Gino hasn't done anything. He's on pace for another 21 interceptions this year. Rex guarantees Super Bowls in uh, September. He never makes it. Like, I think they, they both got to go. So Gino gets benched and Rex gets sacked. At the end of the year, Rex will not be with the Jets. So we'll stick with the East and go to the NFC. There's a couple teams that are playing pretty well over there. You got the Eagles, you got the Cowboys, and you got the resurging Giants. So come week 16 in this NFC East, who are we gonna see going with that number one spot? I got Philly. Um, it's, either, it's between Philly and Dallas, I believe. Um, Dallas got, has Dez and DeMarco. They're both playing unbelievable this year. If DeMarco can stay healthy, and if Dez keeps his pace, um, they'll, be, they'll be tough to beat, but I don't believe in Tony Romo. I'm going with Philly. It's a good choice, but I was actually between uh, Dallas and the Giants because if you, I would, I'm going to go with the Giants. Um, they have an easier season coming up in the um, later on in the season comparatively to the Cowboys. Um, you have uh, the first round draft pick Odell Beckham Jr., who's been stepping up this season so far. I mean, if you look at the first week um, to today for the Giants, they've been progressively getting better, especially with their defense. Um, they're in the top 10 for um, least points allowed. Um, so we'll see, what, we'll see what's going on with them. No love for the Eagles at all? I think they're going to be up there. It's not, well, it's not going to be Washington. So we'll see what the uh, top three are going to be and how they fall by the end of the season. Got it. Well, I'm go going for the Eagles there. I, I think the Eagles pull out the top of the division, but it's going to be a close race. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for football, but next, John sits back down with our NBA experts to preview this upcoming NBA season. Stick around.